Uh, news from further afield, three people were confirmed dead after a mine caved in on them at Lol Gorian area in Narok County on Tuesday evening. According to witnesses, the mine collapsed due to heavy rain that pounded the area with the bad weather hampering the search and rescue mission. Our very own Laura Otiano reports that the incident has once again raised concerns over the safety of mines in certain areas, with government agencies yet to enforce a crackdown on illegal mines across the country. At Gotkabongo village in Lolgorian, Transmara South, the retrieval operation for the body of Alfayo Otieno is underway. The 35-year-old died on Tuesday evening after a mine caved in on him alongside three other people. One person was rescued with two bodies retrieved on Tuesday night. According to residents, the shaft collapsed due to a downpour that pounded this area on Tuesday, weakening the walls of the mine that are carved out of sand. Sasa unapata saa zingine tunaweza vumilia na sehemu ni mbaya. Tukitafuta Kenya tunaweza pata iende itutusaidie na watoto wetu. Moja bado jiwe kubwa imeangukia ndani ya shimo. Bado tunatafuta namna juhudi ya kupasua hiyo mjiwe ili tupate kuokoa kutoa nje. Transmara South Sub County Police Commander Pius Mbithi said the retrieval mission was hampered by bad weather and lack of sophisticated equipment even as the family called on the relevant government agencies to assist in retrieving the remains of their kin. Jua tuna amani mbaka majumbani tuko na shida watoto wanatuliza mwapata walia kwa makwenye jimbo. Tunaomba sana serikali ya Kenya tusikie hili tumtoe alfa hapa chini. The two bodies have been moved to the Kegonga Subcounty Morgue, with the rescued minor receiving treatment at the Kegonga Subcounty Hospital. Royal Tieno Citizen TV. All right, Lord.